what I took from all the experiences that I had as far as being married and going through divorce and then having to get the relationship back on track as far as being friends and being family and raising a daughter and um, was that you just, you know you got to keep moving you got to keep moving forward and upward Zoe's mom and I were incredibly and deeply in love it was a magical magical relationship and a magical time in my life she really helped to um, bring out the best in me and inspired me it all really started when when uh, I got married and I found love with my wife and uh, she she is like the female version of me we're, we're almost like twins mm -hmm. and uh, I think I saw myself in her yeah. And for the first time, I really got a clear look at myself through that. We were, we were very young, and uh, it was wonderful. And we had Zoe, which is, I see now, you know, what it was all about. It was really all about bringing this beautiful child to the planet. And also sharing the love that we had. Zoe's mom and I now are best friends. It's interesting because that's how the relationship started. Um, but it makes you feel really good when you can do that. When we're all together now, her man, her kids, Zoe, me, we're all together and we're one big happy family. It's beautiful and it just shows you what can be done. I was really fortunate to see how my mother was with her father. My grandfather would, you know, come up to the house and be with us all day, and be with my mother all day. And, and then my grandfather would leave. And then I would see my mother on the phone. She'd be on the phone for like an hour. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to daddy. You're, he was here all day. He just left and now you've been on the phone with him for an hour. And that's how they were. They were so close that even though he'd be at the house all day, once he got home, they'd find the next thing to talk about and they'd be on the phone. Now that's the kind of relationship I have with my kid. That's a really uh, powerful relationship and that's a beautiful thing. I know that Zoe has to be who she is and I'm not trying to stifle that, nor did I ever try to stifle that. I tried to give her the same steps, <laughs> you know, and make sure she had her foundation you know, and I was, I was stern at times, but we got on so well and do get on so well that we were able to talk, not to hold things in, and she was free to express. And I'm definitely not a jealous father. You know, a lot of fathers are jealous, you know, not at all. And I understand, you know, having to go out into the world and find yourself. So when it was time to let go, it was, it was really simple.